Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to add different different tags to the queue items. Here you can see we have around 20 queue items and each queue items has a like different different tags. This one has loan application. We have underwriting process, credit decision. As we talked about in the previous video, these are the application number, loan application number. So application number can have different stages. So as you know that there are seven stages in the loan origination process. So let's say we have this data and I want to add these tags to queue item against each items, right? So if you want to learn this one, if you want to know how to do that, so please watch this video till the end. Close this. Now we have this add items to queue and here double click on that, change the queue name. So we have another queue for this one. So we'll write here loan origination underscore queue. And here in the tag, in the previous video, what we did in, in this one, so we just took this order collection dot application step. Now what will happen if you we'll directly run this one? Let me run this and show you. Set next stage and run to this stage. So by using this thing, what will happen? It will just add only one tag to each item. So you can see each item has only pre-qualification process. Why? Because in this data, if you see here, the first item, it has pre-qualification process. So it has just taken only one from the top of this and it has applied to all the SKU items, right? You can see here it has applied same only one tag to all queue items. Now if you want to process each item separately, so how can you do that? So you need to take one by one data from here in a loop and then you need to process that. So let me show you how to do that. So we'll go here and let me first clear out this all. Now we'll go here and what we can do here. after this collection we'll take one loop start and loop end now in the loop start we'll take the data one by one from orders collection and then we'll take one multi calc stage and in the multi calc stage we'll take one by one data from order collection from this loop right and then we'll add two different collection so for that we should have one collection. So I'm going to take one collection here and this is for Q. So we'll write here, this is for Q collection, loan Q, something like that. Loan Q collection. And we need four fields here. One that is for application number. So this is application number and that will be text. Second, we need loan amount that will be text. Third will be application steps and this will be also text. In the initial value, we can take as a single row. Click OK. And we have this collection. Now what we'll do, double click on this and we'll take data from our order collection. We have this one. So order collection dot and these are the columns we'll take here order collection dot application number same here order collection dot loan amount so we'll copy this loan amount order collection dot application step so we'll take one by one data from here and we'll store this in our this collection this loan collection now we'll assign this application number to this one loan queue dot application number and we'll take data from here and the store to loan amount and then we'll take data from order collection application step and we'll store store here right and we'll write here add data to new collection 
now click ok and close this now link this one here here and then take this add items to queue double click on the, this add items to queue now instead of taking data directly from order collection now we'll take this data from loan queue collection from this one and now this tag will be will take this tag from this application step application step so data will be taken from here and same time it will take data from that collection so it will have every time a different different tag here now click ok now we are ready to run that right click set next stage and right click run to this stage now this is done go to this control room right click click on refresh view now you can see here we have 20 items and each items has a different different tags based on that value available in excel so by this way you can add a different different tags to work queue items so i hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you are new to this thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn ui path rpa then you can visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash ui path rpa if you want to learn blue prism from udemy so i have created one course for blue prism rpa complete course on udemy so you can go there and you can purchase that course and you can get the certificate from there i will enter the the referral code and the link in the video description you can go through that i hope you like that one thank you so much for watching this video